Many people ask me how I make these tonal kicks that are very popular in dance music, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's do it. Alright, so here's the basic theory. You essentially have two kicks that are combined. You have a body kick, which is a regular kick drum that occupies the higher frequencies and contains the mid punch of the kick, and even on the higher end, that clicky drum batter part. Um, then you have the low bottom kick, and it, it occupies the low sub frequencies, and it has a vacuum effect like a vroom, and that's caused by a slow attack on the amp envelope. So let's get right to it. We're going to start first by creating a combinator, and then you're going to go ahead and in there you're going to add a line mixer. And then we're going to go ahead and add in a uh, redrum. Again, this could have been an NNXT and a 19, it could have been a Kong, or you could have synthesized your own with a Thor. And I'm going to go in there, and I'm just going to find a kick that I like, and I like that one. I'm going to link, uh, put the length to about 54. That sounds good to me. I just don't want it to compete with the length of the low end. Now we're going to add a stereo imager. And I like that because it provides sort of like a like a low cut filter. Um, so what I'm going to do is put this at 168. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want everything above 168 to go through and everything below to not go through. Again, because this is the body. So I'm going to turn on solo high band. And then now we're going to add a compressor. And just to tighten up things, I'm going to leave everything right there. Just I'm going to lower the threshold a little bit. And I just want the tack to be, I'm lowering the threshold again just so you could see it in action. OK. And the tack, I'm just going to leave it open because I want the initial transients to go. And I'm just going to compensate for, I think I lost about negative 4 dB and put 3.4 dB out. OK. Now I'm going to add a scream. And the scream is just going to give me a lot of versatility because um, then I can come back and change the effect of that. And right now I'm going to just use a tape, put the control to about damage control to about 72. Um, this is fine. Parameter up a little bit. This is the compressor part. Sounds good. I'm going to turn on the body, lower it to zero on the resonance, scale up to about 116. And oh, sounds sounds pretty good so far. Sounds good to me. All right, so that's it for the body kick. All right, now we're going to go to the channel two and we're going to add a maelstrom. And this is going to be the low end that we're going to create. And in the maelstrom, I'm going to go to the sign and just going to take that out. I'm going to put a triangle wave. Oops, here we go, triangle wave. And I'm going to put the shift to negative 14. There we go. Oh, we're negative, negative 16 is fine and then the octave to three, and then the semi tones to three, and that's just gonna tune it. But I'm gonna turn the shape around so you can hear a little bit better, and this is a trick that producers use on the EDM kicks. They usually just create a like a distortion unit and add that. Um, so I'm gonna put a clip here, and we're getting there. But let's play around the amp envelope to get that vacuum effect. So I'm gonna put the attack up to 57, there we go. I'm going to put the decay to about 50. And then sustain to zero, release at about 12. Now we're getting the sound that we want. You can play around with the filter uh, frequency, but you know, right now it sounds good to me. All right, so we got the maelstrom in there. We're going to add a stereo imager to do the same thing. This time I'm going to, I'm going to still put it at 168. And then I'm going to put the solo high band or solo low band because I only want everything below 168 to go through. Everything above will not go through. Again, this is the low end. All right, so we're kind of kind of getting there. And after the stereo imager, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a scream unit. Um, I'm going to put it at tape. I'm going to add a little bit of bottom end. And let's see how that sounds. Okay. Sounds 
good. Damage control, 56, just a little bit, or 54. Sounds good. And then I'm going to add a unison. And I like to add the unison because it thickens the sound a little bit. So I'm just going to drive, drive uh, bring this down a little bit to about 40. Just made it wider, right? You can mess around with the detune, but don't, you don't want to add too much of this effect because then it causes some phasing issues and you, when you play it back on a system. Um, and now let's add a vocoder. I like adding the vocoder, put it to EQ, put the, uh, to four band, put the bass up a little bit, put the shift down, and it creates this very thick sound. Um, so I like that. All right, now we want to glue the sounds together. So we're going to go back to the top because you have, again, two sounds that sound pretty like they're two sounds playing at the same time. We want them to sound a little more natural. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the tab over. And I'm going to first create an equalizer. And I'm going to do that by holding shift. So equalizer, I'm going to add a reverb. Again, I'm holding down shift so that they don't um, connect. Then I'm going to add a compressor here. And then I'm going to add an Audiomatic Retro Transformer. And then I'm simply going to link them all together, take the master out cables from the line mixer to the end of the equalizer, and then just create this chain again, out to in, out to in. All right, so now I'll turn it over. But I don't want that reverb sound. Let me just fix that really quick. I'm going to go ahead and go to All Echo Room. Sounds good to me. And uh, I'm just going to put a low cut filter right there. And I'm just going to cut out the boxiness of it. So first, I'm going to find the muddy areas and kind of boost the gain a little, a little bit. It's muddy around 250, so I'm going to lower that a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and boost just a little bit. I'm going to boost the, uh, the low at about 60 hertz. Uh, that's fine, 57.9. All right. Now it's starting to take shape. And let's check out the compressor. It's being pretty compressed. I'm going to increase the threshold a little bit. And again, I want all the transients coming in. Maybe widening it a little bit. 57 is good. Release is fine. And let's put this transformer up a little bit. Now it sounds really thick. All right, so now what you can do here at this point is you can go ahead and change the waveform. Try different ones. Mess around with the shift. I mean, you get some really cool stuff. You can then go ahead and play with the um, scream, put an overdrive on the low end. That sounds pretty cool. Put the damage control up a little bit. Sounds cool. Um, you can play with the, uh, just tune it lower maybe. A lot of cool stuff you can do. Um, you can change the kick of the body. I mean, you can keep going. Um, and again, you can play with the damage control or the scream unit over here. I like the tape. Anyway, so you can do a lot. So, um, you know, have fun making these EDM kicks for yourself. Um, download this patch and others at my site, gfill.com. You can also check out my new refill, Dance Anthem Tools. And again, that contains all the essentials to make powerful dance music. Subscribe to get new uh, five-minute tutorials and production tips. Sorry, this one was a little bit longer, but that's my goal is to make them all under five minutes. So remember, don't just make beats, make a masterpiece. Take care, everybody.